establishing an inclusive art collaborative creating large format art with a diverse community of people during a pandemic sounds like a monumental endeavor and it has been. For childhood friends McLena Gomes and Jennifer McIver Edwards, it has become a mission, and for our community, a gift. Here is On the Local Scene, In This Together, with Community Art Collaborative. Jen gave me a phone call and was just really concerned about what was happening with the pandemic and that there was so much loss of life and the grieving process or a lack of, of a visual grieving process. And I looked at her and said, well, let's do some art. I'm an artist. I've been a professional artist for over 20 years and creating art has always made me feel better. It makes a lot of other people feel better. And we thought, you know, let's bring some art to Plymouth to help everyone be seen, feel connected, uh, and remember what community is all about. This latest installation from the Harbor Master was inspired by the first installation at the hospital, specifically Chris Gerrier's ensign, Honeycomb, which spells out in this together using the naval signals. And we collaborated with Kat Libretto and Chris Gerrier and uh, Chad Hunter, the Harbor Master, to bring this all together. We thought this was a great time and a great opportunity to put his work out in a meaningful place within the community, again, going back to bringing art into the community and creating that conversation around it. This art exhibit is uh, truly like a maritime piece and obviously uh, it fits very well into the maritime facility and what we've tried to do here. I think it really ties in wonderfully. We fly the nautical flags that spell out Plymouth on our flagpole and here having this exhibit in this together just makes sense for us. We were introduced by Peg Page, the head of the um, Center for the Arts, to Melissa Kenny, who is the vice president of the Cultural District, and to Robin Carver, who is our wonderful town planner. We sat down with those ladies and started to have a conversation about the possibilities. A lot of collaborating and the work that we do is, you know, it's organic. And through that work, we were then introduced to Stephen Del Boss, who is, you know, the poet laureate. And from there, they recommended you know that we have a conversation with the team at BID to consider that piece of work. It's connecting people and being open to the conversations and what can be that has led us down this path. There's quite a few things here. Obviously, we got a local artist that really has a naval background and has used these signal flags in a lot of his artwork. So that was super special to us. Well, I did pick flags. Um, and I picked flags because I had a career in the Navy before this. It was something that was just familiar um, and I thought to be easy. But when you start making those flags, they're not easy at all. But the Harbor Master, it was just an opportunity that the Community Art Collaborative brought to us saying, hey, we have a, what could be one of the bigger palettes in Plymouth. What kind of appropriate artwork could we put up there? And I mean, you can't have any more appropriate than nautical flags at the Harbor Master's office. I happened to see some of his work up at, in town at Inky Hand Studio. You know, whenever I'm walking around, no matter where I am, if there's something nautical, like it catches my eye. And so truly to, to see that and to kind of connect uh, with the local artist, have this message, which is obviously nautical uh, in itself and with the flags, um, I think it's just really been like a tremendous piece uh, to display here. Uh, we were able to get it up prior to the maritime salute that we had over Labor Day weekend. And everybody was asking like, what does it say? So we were able to kind of explain it and uh, people thought it was brilliant. Chris created uh, the artwork for this project with Community Art Collaborative. Uh, it spells in this together using nautical flags. Each flag is a letter in the alphabet and it's a universal language, which is beautiful. In this together is found throughout the Community Art Collaboratives um, honeycomb project as well. You know, the hashtag, everything was built around that saying because we're all in this together, you know, getting through it and then coming out of it. And I had been doing nautical flags as silkscreen artwork for about a year and a half here at Inky Hands. That, that was my skill set, so I applied my skill set to this project. Um, and, and just the simple fact of cutting off the corners of the flags, it made them look totally different and fit into this perfectly. So I, I was kind of surprised at how well um, nautical flags that are a perfect square um, lent themselves to a hexagon shape. 
why is the artwork in a honeycomb shape? And we thought about, you know, what is a visual representation of coming together? And when you look at a beehive, the more honeycombs, the stronger the hive. And so that's why we've gone with this shape. So as you go and you see our installations and you start seeing art popping up throughout Plymouth and it has this funny little honeycomb shape, right? It's to help you remember that we're in this together. And that I think is really important for people to understand. It was a way for both the public and local artists to make different arts and then interlock them together into a bigger art mural project. So the one we did up at Beth Israel uh, was, was all local artists and those were approximately 18 inches by about 21 inches. And then they made hundreds and hundreds more of ones that I think were about six or eight inches that a bunch of school kids did in their art classes. So we had two different sizes, but because of the geometry of it, they could be interlocked together and made to a bunch of big different things. And then that's where we get to it. I just took my flags and I made it to that shape. It's, it's kind of a cool and unique way, like obviously it's not very obvious, so people have to kind of ask, like, what does it say? It obviously brings a pop of color to downtown. Uh, you can see it from the, the water, like if you're out on the boat, uh, the walkways, uh, the harbor walk, um, really where it is and the elevation that it has, um, I think sort of demands attention and people are interested and they want to, you know, they ask and they want to know a little bit more about it and that's great. So many people are coming in here with their boats. We really felt like when you enter into the town of Plymouth, we wanted them to be welcomed and know like you're coming into a harbor and into a community that we all care about each other and we're trying to learn new ways, right? Of how to connect and that's why we feel like art is the best vehicle uh, to do that with. Art can bring people from all walks of life and come together under one common idea. It started with a conversation between McLena and I about um, about COVID, about some of the social justice issues that were taking place in the um, country at the time, and the sadness that we were feeling, and a little bit of the helplessness, and that we really needed to reconsider what we can do, how we do it, and um, what our opportunities were. So we said, let's do some art. Well, art turned into a lot of art, um, which is great for us and for the communities that we operate in. Well, the Community Art Collaborative is important because it provides artwork for the community to engage with. The community doesn't have to go into a gallery to, f to view artwork. They can view artwork under the sky, which is a beautiful thing. That means it's, it's not just somebody who owns a home that gets to enjoy the artwork. The homeless get to enjoy the artwork. Passerbys get to enjoy the artwork. People who are working out get to enjoy the artwork. People from other towns, tourists, everyone gets to enjoy the artwork. And uh, they don't have to go inside, which I think is beautiful. We continue that conversation and we continue to grow and develop the organization um, through the lens of creating conversation and giving everybody the opportunity to create art and to interact with it. Artists as a community are a lot stronger together. Artists, when they're with each other, uh, can bounce ideas off each other. They're not stuck in their own, their own world. Um, you never know what a conversation about art will do for another artist's career and their practice. As a collaborative studio, we've, there's so many artists that come through here that we get to kind of fuel this fire within everyone and they get to fuel this fire within us as well. How do we, how do we create art for the community, with the community? There's so many different artists in Plymouth and a lot of people don't get to see all the different types of artwork uh, because they might be just an oil painting type person. Or they might just be a silk screen person. We had lots of people who had only ever been into inky hands. And then when they saw all the other artists in Plymouth that do photography and do metal working and do oil painting, that it kind of, it gives exposure to the whole community because most people know a few people in their community. I mean, and what better way than to use a local artist, his design, right and a local art gallery Pat, who did the painstaking physical labor of screen printing each and every one of these nautical flags um, it's just a testament to the art community that's thriving here in Plymouth and you really should get to know it there's so many wonderful little spaces like inky hands um, waiting to be discovered in Plymouth inky hands is a silk screen print studio and art gallery as well it started with my own artwork and since moving to Plymouth three years ago, uh, 
I publish as well for other artists. And Chris was one of the first artists I invited in here to, to publish prints for with. Um, he became an apprentice at Inky Hands. And since then, I, I now publish for about 30 different artists. It's also a, um, an educational print studio. I, I offer lessons. I teach others the fine art silkscreen process. It's a, a process that is very hard to learn, not just because you need equipment to learn it, but there aren't many facilities that exist anymore that teach silkscreen. I always envisioned having a place that could bring artists together in a community and learn. As we move forward, you'll be able to submit a honeycomb that can be placed on Instagram and can also be put into a number of the installations. So seeing something that started off as nothing to flags at the Harbor Master and knowing how many different art processes and people got involved with that, that's really inspiring. And that's kind of what the whole art community collaborative is about, is getting different artists together to, to make art for the community. And I think we succeeded. I encourage everyone to come down to Inky Hands and walk down the main street of Court Street of Plymouth because there's quite a few art places here that you can see a lot of great art. But uh, I, I'm just really glad I got to participate in this uh, event. This isn't the first or the last you will hear from us about CAC and their presence and contribution to the ways we show up for each other through art. To learn more or get involved yourself, visit communityartcollaborative.org. Thank you for watching. We are grateful for your attention. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to The Local Scene here and share everywhere. Thank you, friends.